Barack Obama carried this state by 10 percentage points in 2008, and polls this year have had him the head of hometown candidate Mitt Romney, who has a house in Wolfboro, by as much as 7 percentage points. But recent polls have showed the race tightening in the Gretnut state, perhaps because of voters such as Erin Pompeo, the stay-at-home mom from Stratham. Pompeo was pretty well settled on Obama until she saw the first presidential debate. Suddenly Romney, who Pompeo had thought was too silver spoon, looked appealing. Pompeo liked his tax plan, thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. And thought Romney seemed more knowledgeable. It made me more fee on Obama, said Pompeo, 38. Bob Weir, 69, an independent voter who considers himself a moderate, was also impressed by Romney's debate performance. He's still undecided, but is giving Romney a second look. I like Obama as a human being, but think he's surrounded himself with a bunch of idiots, he said. Obama and Romney have traded the lead in this swing state throughout the year, polls show. A Dartmouth College poll in April had Romney up. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. By two percentage points, and then a slew of polls such as the right-leaning Rasmussen reports had Obama up in June. The recent Rasmussen poll showed the race tied once more, though an average of polls by Real Clear Politics has Obama up by 4.5 percentage points. Doug Weismar voted for Obama last time around, and still considers himself undecided for November's election. But he's leaning toward Romney, he says. It seems like Romney knows a little more about the economy, and we need more jobs said Weissmont, 42, the stay-at-home dad. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Obama should perhaps be relieved that he still has supporters like Francesco McMahon, 70, who was heading out to canvas in a rainy New Hampshire evening. Obama stands for every dream I've had all my life, she said. It's unlikely the vice presidential debate will sway minds as much as last week's debate did, though. Many New Hampshire voters said they were looking forward to the vice presidential debate, not to make up their minds about who to choose for president, but just to watch some good old-fashioned political sparring. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. It's going to be like entertainment, said Pat Crawford, a Romney supporter from Portsmouth. Added Renee to Saint, a Romney supporter from Farmington, I want to see Ryan kick somebody.